Well, we finally got a closer look today at Quebec's controversial charter of values. The premier promises it won't infringe on the rights of anyone, but it will enshrine secularism in Quebec society. And in practical terms, that means restricting what public sector employees can wear. The charter isn't law yet, but the debate about it has already triggered a huge response. As Mike Armstrong reports. The minister responsible for the charter took to the podium with a copy of Bill 60 tucked under his arm. After months of debate already, Quebecers finally had their first chance today to see the new Charter of Values. We think this proposal, this bill, is fair and reasonable and well-balanced. The bill doesn't stray far from what was originally proposed. It includes a ban on religious clothing for all public employees, no keepers for doctors, for example, no hijabs in daycares. What it doesn't have is enough support to be adopted. The PQ is a minority in the National Assembly. Well, the minister points to polls that show a majority of Quebecers support the idea of a charter and says other parties will come around. There will be a, an incentive for other political parties to cooperate. The charter has been the number one issue in Quebec for months. Most weekends have had either a pro-charter or anti-charter rally. Some weekends have had both. For this teacher, a lifelong Quebecer, the debate has been painful. The charter, she says, assumes people who wear religious garb can't be unbiased. Anybody in the civil service, everyone's a professional, so why not look at that instead of a symbol or a garb that somebody's wearing for personal reasons? down and dirty politics from the word go. The motive for the PQ, according to this commentator, is electoral. Support for sovereignty isn't strong enough to carry the party to a majority government and on to a referendum, so it's looking for something else. They want to rebrand themselves as the party of identity. Since the day the charter was announced, the premier and the minister have called for respectful debate. That hasn't always happened. Wow. This was an event on a bus, a Muslim woman being yelled at by another passenger. Muslim groups say complaints have skyrocketed. They've had more than 100 in the last two months. Well, debate over the charter will continue. There will be hearings likely early next year and a vote. If it doesn't pass, there will likely be an election fought on the issue next spring. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.